Welcome to TCS. This is our showroom introduction of our 2010 Mercedes-Benz C180 Sport with an AMG pack and a five-speed auto gearbox. We're a 1.8 supercharged. Uh, color is Palladium Grey, which is 792U with Alpaca Grey full leather, which is code 218A. This one's on 90,000 miles, which I worked out to be an average of 7,500 miles per annum. So factory options, got an auto gearbox, which is 1490. We've got metallic paint, which is 645. Uh, full leather, 1500. Uh, it's got the mirror package, which includes the electric folding mirrors, uh, which is 340. Got heated front seats at 325. We've got speed sensitive steering at 210. Cruise control with speed limit 150. Uh, this car, a standard, has got Parktronic for front and rear, so front and rear parking sensors, sports front seats, sports suspension, climate control, ice cold AC, which I can verify, part electric seats. We've got a 12 button multi function steering wheel. We've got Bluetooth connectivity. We've got burr walnut wood trim. We've got alloy pedals. That's your clutch, uh, sorry, your brake and accelerator. Uh, we've got AM, FM, CD and traffic information. We've got automatic headlamps, alarm, tire pressure monitor, onboard computer, trip computer and an outside air temperature gauge. Last service for, would have been August 22 at 90,000 miles. Uh, the MOT will be renewed and will expire September 23. We've got two remote original Mercedes-Benz keys. We've got full book pack, uh, HPI and experience certificates and a Mercedes-Benz data card with all the factory spec. We've got Mercedes-Benz carpet mats, a space saver spare wheel, a lock and wheel bolt uh, tool and the jack and brace in the toolkit. Let's go through into the interior. With some of the biggest names. Uh, Let's turn Ken Bruce down a fraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are light grey, which is alpaca grey leather. So electric uh, part electric seats. So it's just the front pulling the seat forward and backwards. So you do manually. Otherwise, the rest is electric. Leather's in great condition. No marks and kicks and scuffs on the backs of the front seats. The back seat is uh, really great condition. That's not been used much at all. Parcel shelf's all good. Headrests are all intact. You've got a uh, automatic gearbox, climate control, heated front seats. Yeah, so that was There's all the audio controls. Actually, uh, headlining we is uh, anthracite, which is dark grey. Fair size boot. There we go. Warning triangle there. We've got a space saver spare wheel. Uh, that unclips and we'll hold that uh, door up. Okay, so you've got a space saver spare wheel, spare tyre, still got the knobbly bits on it, so it's not been used. Uh, looks like it's had caring previous owners because they put some um, foam in there to stop any rattling from the tool kit. So you've got the, uh, the brace, uh, the wheel chocks, uh, the tow kit, everything's there, well, as it should be. No smells in the car, no odours from dogs or smoking or anything like that. There's no rips or tears or damage to the seats. Headlights, front, uh, front and rear, electric windows, and folding door mirrors, which are working. Onto the business end, so we've got a 1.8 petrol engine with a supercharger. Uniquely on these Mercedes, you can lift 
the bonnet to a 90 degree angle. Now the idea of that is so that the engine can be removed without taking the bonnet off. And the only reason I know that is from my days at Mercedes in the workshop many, many moons ago. So someone's replaced the air filter with a K&M filter. I'm sure it'll actually give you more performance, but probably seemed like a good, a good thing to do at the time. It always be, be swapped back for a standard air filter because the, the air, air box is all the same. Nice quiet engine, petrol which seems to be in vogue again. I personally prefer petrol vehicles because of the refuelling and uh, petrol is cheaper than diesel. Then just pull it down, it'll go down halfway and stop and then easy to shut. Now I think this is the best colour for this model, Palladium. Just really smart against the vehicle. Uh, it's got light leather in, inside this car. I'm not overly keen on black leather because I've seen so much of it. So I do prefer beige and light gray personally. Always a preference of course. So there we go. That's a 2010 Mercedes C180 Sport with an AMG pack, automatic gearbox, some nice extras, roughly 90,000 miles got some documented service history it'll have a fresh MOT nice budget Mercedes just wants a nice private plate put on it which you can buy from anything from uh, 150 pounds onwards just to finish her off thank you for watching please like share and subscribe